Hey guys, what's happening? So, when I put my axle together about three and a half, four years ago, it's a 78, 79 Ford high pinion 60 kingpin axle. Um, I always had in the back of my mind that I was gonna run the OEM shafts until one of them gave up the ghost, and when that happened, I was gonna do RCVs. But I was gonna run the OEM shafts as long as I could until I could afford to buy a set of RCVs. Um, that said, one of them gave up the ghost. And here I am with RCVs, and I'm going over why I think RCVs are awesome. So first of all, a little bit about RCVs. They are an American company made in the USA. So they're not Chinese, they're not Taiwan, they're not Indonesian. They are a, an American-owned, American-operated company. Um, they use, I think, the majority of their product is American-made from American materials, which is awesome. Um, American jobs. And, you know... That's something that's just really hard for me not to support. And I really get off supporting, you know, American companies like that. Um, that's, that's an awesome thing. That's how we do things at Crawler Concepts. And RCV's out there doing the same thing. It's a tough industry, and it's really tough to stay um, American when you've got a lot of competition coming in from overseas. And if you don't like the American-made stuff, you're a communist, and I don't like you. So either way, it's cool. I'm kidding, but I'm really serious. So, uh... Other than that, that's great. They're a great company. Easy to talk to. You call these guys up, answer them, hit them up on Facebook. They answer you. Hit them up on email. They answer you. I mean, they're just really out there to help you out, and they really go a long way that way. So, great company. Super nice product with innovating designs. Um, so, like your basic axle shafts that you're looking at here. So, the first axle shaft you're seeing is that 78, 79 Ford High Pinion 60 OEM shaft. So, that axle shaft's a good possibility. That's the one that came from the factory. So, it's 38, 39 years old. And she finally started to twist. So I don't know if you can really see it in there, but the stub shaft, the splines on it are twisted. Now there's a little bit of twist on some of the splines on the uh, inside shaft. These are old axle shafts. There's no telling what life they lived before I got them. I mean, these were made before I was even born. But um, they held up long enough for me to get a set of RCVs. If you're looking at the shaft, you can see the considerable amount of neck down on the inner shaft. So from where the seal rides, that shiny spot, it starts the neck down as it comes to the yokes. And <clears throat> that's a weak spot. So the neck down on them is so small. I mean, the strength on that is about like what a 44 would be. And then the outer stub shaft over here on this side is a 30 spline. And it necks down to 30 spline. So it's even smaller. Um, you know, so you really, you, you built this awesome Kingpin 60 and stuck it under your Jeep. But your axle shaft still may have marginal strength more than what your standard 44 would have. Um, but they'll get you a ways down the road, run them, be weary, um, you know, just know where the skinny pedal is and where you, when you need to use it, when you don't need to use it, um, until you can get a different set of axle shafts. Now, lots of guys, they'll upgrade the, uh, the outer, the stub, and that's awesome. They'll go to like a Chrome Molly 35 spline outer and some good U joints. And that gives you, you know, a lot more strength in that OEM little short, uh, 30 spline stub. But then you still have this 44 style inner with 35 spline outer. So now your your inner's at jeopardy. So all right, so you can buy a set of you know really nice chrome molly shafts. And but me, I'm one of them. Once it breaks, I'm going to go full retard on it. And here I am with some RCVs. Now I didn't get their 300 M shafts. So they offer a couple of different materials to make their stuff out of. So they've got 4340 chrome molly, 300 M. Um, and the 300 M stuff is awesome. It's expensive and it really is, you know, for guys running, in my opinion, like huge rubbers, big power, doing lots of bouncing. Um, so I just went with the standard 4340 Chrome Molly, uh, CV shafts. Now I've got a full 35 spline outer, a full 35 spline inner with minimum neck down on the shafts. So you can see the shaft behind this one, the outside diameter of the center section of that shaft is nowhere near as small as the outside diameter of those OEM shafts. So there's a lot of strength gained, not only from the CV joint or material, but the actual design of the shaft itself. So super sweet. So they send this stuff packaged up and boxed like nobody's business. I got home, jumped out of my truck, those things were in my garage. I was like, yeah, I see these. And I grabbed them like a kid Christmas story kind of stuff, like trying to open these things up, and it was a P-I-T-A to open up, which is a good thing. They do a really nice job packaging their stuff. I mean, they've got all the shafts are foam wrapped. You can see the 
the axle shafts on the splines, they still got little rubber caps over the ends, which make it nice and things will get dinged up or chipped in shipping, you know, get dropped or whatever, which I doubt they would anyway, but they're just going the extra mile with, um, make sure you get your product in as pristine condition as you can. But in the box, they give you a tool, which I'm assuming that tool is to help you take them apart. And then they give you a really nice t-shirt, which is embroidered, fancy, fancy. It's not screen printed or um, a, a heat pressed vinyl shirt, really nice t-shirt. And then they gave me some awesome beer drinking koozies, which are magnetic. They put your beer can in there and stick it to the side of your Jeep or toolbox or something that you're not driving. But uh, <clears throat> that's just pretty cool. They give you some cool stuff to go with it. And then they give you their... I guess their formulated grease or the grease that they recommend using in their CV joints and it's their synthetic molly grease, um, which is nice. And these these compact with grease, so which is pretty cool. Um, it looks, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So they've got a, a Zerk fitting here on the end, but if you're like me and you're running lockouts, you gotta take all that off to do it. So they've also got a grease fitting here on the ball. So what you'll do is jack the Jeep up, get the wheel off the ground and then turn the uh, turn the wheel full lock and then spin the wheel until you see that and then a grease needle, uh, grease needle on your grease gun and then you can pump those up and service them up which is nice and cool makes it easy to service so again guys this is just a basic video of me going over RCVs and why I choose RCVs over the other guys um, there's some other guys that make some really nice stuff out there not taking anything away from them I'm just a fan, and I think RCV just has one of the premier products on the market. So, if you are in the market for axle shafts and you're looking to go axle shafts, I think that they're a great company. First of all, they make an awesome product, and they will take care of you on the warranty side if you do have any issues. But uh, again, you can hit them up at rcvperformance.com. And uh, thanks a lot, guys. Look forward to seeing you out there.